Many people get into serious financial trouble because they make one of the most common mistakes. If you are already in financial bind, avoiding these missteps could be crucial to your continued existence. Hello and welcome back to Only Pay. We'll be discussing about top 10 most common financial mistakes. Be sure to watch all the way to the end. If you are new to the channel, then hit the subscribe button below for more life changing content. Number 1 Excessive and Frivolous Spending Great fortunes are often lost $1 at a time. It may not seem like a big deal when you pick up that double mocha cappuccino or have dinner out or order the pay per view movie. But every little item adds up. Just $25 per week spent on dining out cost you $1,300 per year, which could go toward an extra credit card or auto payment or several extra payments. If you are enduring financial hardships, avoiding these mistakes really matters. After all, if you are only a few dollars away from foreclosure or bankruptcy, every dollar will count more than ever. Number 2. Never ending payments. Ask yourself if you really need items that keep you paying every month, year after year. Things like cable, televisions, music services, or high end gym memberships can force you to pay unnecessarily but leaving you owning nothing. When money is tight or you just want to save more, Creating a lean lifestyle can go a long way to fattening or saving or cushioning yourself from financial hardship. Number 3. Living on borrowed money. Using credit cards to buy essential has become somewhat commonplace. But even if an ever increasing number of consumers are willing to pay double digit interest rates on gasoline, groceries and host of other items that are gone long before the bill is paid in full. It's not wise financial advice to do so. Credit card interest rates make the price of charged items a great deal more expensive. In some cases, using credit card can also mean you'll spend more than you earn. Number 4. Buying a new car Millions of new cars are sold each year. Although few buyers can afford to pay, for them in cash. However, the inability to pay cash for a new car can also mean inability to afford the car. After all, being able to afford the payment is not the same as being able to afford the car. Furthermore, by borrowing money to buy a car, the consumer pays interest on the depreciating asset, which amplifies the difference between the value of the car and the price paid for it. Worse yet, Many people trade in their cars every 2 or 3 years and lose money on every trade. Sometimes a person has no choice but to take out a loan to buy a car. But how many consumers really need a large SUV? Such vehicles are expensive to buy. Ensure the fuel unless you tow a boat or trailer or need a SUV to earn a living it can be disadvantageous to purchase one. If you need to buy a car and or borrow money to do so, consider buying one that uses less gas and costs less in insured and maintained. Cars can be expensive and if you are buying more of a car than you need, you need to maintain be burning through money through could have been saved or used to pay off debt. Number 5. Spending too much on your house When it comes to buy a house, Bigger is not necessarily better. Unless you have a large family, choosing a 6,000 square foot home will only mean more expensive taxes, maintenance and utilities. Do you really want to put such a significant long term dent into your monthly budget? Number 6. Using home equity like piggy bank. Refinancing and taking cash out of your home means giving away ownership to someone else. In some cases, refinancing might make sense if you can lower your rate or if you can refinance and pay off higher interest debt. However, the other alternative is to open a home equity line of credit (HELOC). This allows you to effectively use the equity in your home like a credit card. 
this could mean paying unnecessary interest for the sake of using your home equity line of credit number 7 living paycheck to paycheck in june 2021 the us household personal saving rate was 9.4 percentage too many house households may live paycheck to paycheck and the unforeseen problem can easily become a disaster if you are not prepared the cumulative results of overspending puts people into a precarious position one in which they need every dime they earn and one missed paycheck would be destructions this is not the position you want to find yourself in what when an economy recession hits If this happens you'll have a very few options. Many financial partners will tell you to keep 3 months worth of expenses in an account where you can access it quickly. Loss of employment or changes in the economy could drain your savings and place you in cycle of debt paying for debt. A 3 month buffer could be difference between keeping your losing your house. Number 8 not investing in retirement If you do not get your money working for you in the market or through other income producing investments you may never be able to stop working making monthly contribution to designated retirement account is essential for a comfortable environment take advantages of tax deferred retirement account or your employer sponsored plan understand the time your investment will have to grow and how much risk you can tolerate Consult a qualified financial advisor to match this worth of your goal is possible. Number 9. Paying off debt with savings. You may be thinking that if your debt is costing 19% and your retirement account is making 7%, swapping the retirement for the debt means you will be pocketing the difference. But it's not that simple. In addition to losing the power of compounding, it's very hard to pay check those retirement funds and you could be hit with hefty fees with a right mindset borrowing from your retirement account can be a viable option but even the most disciplined manner have a tough time to placing money aside or rebuilding these accounts when the debt gets paid off the urgency to pay it back usually goes away it will be tempting to continue spending at the same pace which means you could go back into debt again if you are going to pay off debt with savings you have to live like you still have a debt to pay to your retirement fund number 10 not having a plan your financial future depends on what is going on right now people spend countless hours watching tv or scrolling through your social media feeds but setting aside 2 hours a week for their finances is out of question you need to know where you go- are going make spending some time planning your finances priority the bottom line to steer yourself away from the dangerous overspending start by monitoring the little expenses that add up quickly then move on to the monitoring the big expenses think carefully before adding new debt to your list of payments and keep in mind that being able to make a payment is in the same being able to afford the purchase finally make savings some of what you earn monthly priorities along with the spending time developing your sound financial plans if you enjoy this video don't forget to hit like and subscribe be sure to turn on bell notification so you don't miss any video just like this one Please give us your thoughts in the comments below and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.